Pusit at saka dangit. These are very salty. And kasama nito ay kimchi, another salty foods. And then meron ba tayong itlog na pula, another salty food. And then yung ating regular egg na meron ding asin. And of course, yung fresh alamang na tortang alamang na of course, ginisa sa asin din. And meron tayong special foods dito which is the Korean low-carb jajangmyeon. So this is jajangmyeon in shirataki pasta, shirataki noodles. Sobrang bango. And instead of potato, yung ginamit dito is singkamas. And yung ating ginamit na meat is the beef beef belly. So ito yung mga beef belly. Kung takot kayo sa taba ng beef, then you are missing out on one of the healthiest food there is. So takot man yung ibang tao sa aming pinagkakaeng maalat at matataba. But we are not afraid because when we eat these foods, yan, when we eat them, we eat them without rice. So, meron ba kayo nakikitang rice dyan? Wala. We actually don't have rice here because ang pagkain ng maalat at pagkain ng matataba ay nagiging nakakatakot lamang if you pair it up also with high carb intake. Carb in the form of sugar, sweets, asukal, matatamis, Fructose coming from the many candies, processed foods, mga cookies, and also coming from starch. We always emphasize on the amount of glucose na nasa starch. Ano yung mga example ng starch? Kanin, patatas, noodles, tinapay, those foods including mais, including oatmeal, including other grains, those are all starch. They are high starch foods and ang starch is inahalintuwalad natin sa perang papel. So perang papel, mas magaan tingnan but the value is actually heavier. As compared to coins, so yung mga barya, medyo mabigat but the value is individual. So yung barya, katumbas nun, is glucose, simple sugar. Whereas the papel, Papel na pera, it's the starch. So, starch is still convertible into glucose. Pwede pa rin maging barya the moment it is processed in our liver. The moment it is processed in our body. At pwede pa rin silang mag into problems like fatty liver disease, build up ng bad cholesterol, DLDL, triglycerides sa ating katawan. That's why our... Triglyceride, this is actually very low. Our VLDL or remnant cholesterol is also very low. Even if we eat eggs every day, more than one egg, at least three eggs siguro ako, or at least four eggs a day kapag naaalala ko siya. But may mga time din na hindi rin ako kumakain ng egg. But generally, kung hindi ako kumakain ng egg, it's just because nakalimutan ko siya or meron akong ibang pagkain. But it's never because I am afraid of eggs, especially the yellow ng egg. Hindi ko siguro kayang kainin yung egg without the yellow kasi yun yung masarap for me. I am a high fat eater even before low carb. Yung nakakatakot lang noon is habang kumakain ako ng matatabang pagkain, sinasabayan ko ng chocolate, sinasabayan ko ng cakes, sinasabayan ko ng candies. I'm so happy na buhay pa ako ngayon. But right now, I can enjoy all of these beef belly. Hmm? taba no so it's belly it's beef no yung mga parang para siyang uh, bacon pero belly siya belly ah uh, beef siya beef beef so hindi siya hindi siya cured with anything so it's just fresh belly cut and then frito lang sa kanyang sariling mantika and just add salt so we are not afraid of salt because by research mas maraming namamatay in low salt diet salt is essential kailangan na kailangan natin yan. Siya yung pinaka highest amount of electrolytes in our body. Sodium and chloride. So, sodium chloride, yun yung ating makukuha sa asin. It's very cheap. Yun yung pinaka essential, especially if you are still transitioning sa low carb. The moment you eliminate your rice, the moment you start removing your pasta, your sweets, your carbs, mas na kailangan ninyo ng higher salt intake para mawala yung usual na side effect ng mga nagsisimulang ng low carb na sumasakit yung ulo, 
nahihilo, parang nahihina, kulang lang kayo sa asin. There is even a book called The Salt Fix by Dr. Nico Di Nicol Antonio. And yun, it highlights how salt is very important and how we shouldn't be afraid of salt. So, yung danggit, konti na lang. Naka tatlong danggit, ah, tatlong pusit na siguro ako at nakaka apat na danggit. And of course, kakainin ko ito with vinegar. And so, that's just our Sunday salty low-carb foods. And this is all prepared now. Ngayon pa lang kami kakain. And it's our normal to eat late, to eat not very early in the morning. We've had a meeting this morning, but nagkape lang kami. Even if they are offering free breakfast, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks because hindi pa open yung window namin. So we all do, we also don't do keto because keto is deliberate na very high fat intake at merong maraming restrictions. But with low carb, you don't need to think na kailangan mong damihan talaga yung fats. But you just need to focus on low carb foods. Konti an lang yung carbs, big carbs removed. And you can just enjoy foods as is. Kung ano lang yung natural na nandyan, just know the big ones that you need to avoid. Okay? Because low carb is a kind of diet na pwedeng-pwedeng gawin ng lahat sustainably for everyone. Even kids, even elderlies, even centenarians, even 100 years old. Okay na okay lang sila with low carb. You can check the JGC Rojo food list. For you to be guided, meron tayong safe list dyan, especially for those who needs to heal. And for those na merong autoimmune disease, merong psoriasis, merong rheumatoid arthritis, merong inflammatory bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, then the safe list may not be the safest list for you. Pero meron pa kayong magkakaroon ng safer safe list. And that is outlined in our Masterclass. So, for those who wish to be guided, kung meron na kayong mga ninaramdam na sakit, you are more than welcome to join our LCF Masterclass na kung saan kakatapos lang din ng aming live interactive sessions Q&A for this week. So, I'll see you again next time, guys. Maraming salamat. You are welcome to be a part of Life Without Rice for food inspirations, for more low-carb food inspirations like this one, and for motivation at mga questions naman. You are welcome to join Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community. So maraming salamat and congratulations to each and everyone uh, part na ng ating masterclass and also those who joined our Taji 100 Challenge for February. So kasabayan natin yon. It's 100 miles of running, walking, hiking in 28 days. And we completed it in just 26 days. So maraming salamat everyone. I hope you will always remember na kahit anuman, kahit saan man, you can always stay low carb. Why stay low carb? We stay low carb so that we will all stay safe. Have a good day, folks.